my wife Ruth was having a look at the ingredients with us and she said, what are you doing with, you know, the dried fruits and, and your capsicum and your chorizo and your chicken, of course. And it actually is an interesting mix. I had it when I was in Spain, which is quite a while ago, I must admit. But I really enjoyed the dish. And it's, it shows the Arabian influence, you know, the, the Arabian traders that, that came right through those areas. And, you know, the, the idea of the dried fruits and the pine nuts and the pomegranates and stuff like that. No, actually, the pomegranates is in the, in the drink. So, Ian, don't be silly. <laughs> anyway, to change the subject, let's talk about cooking some chicken. So what I've got here is some chicken thighs. Anyway, I don't know whether, whether Ruth believed me when I said it. I think she th thought I'd just made up the dish, which maybe I have. No, I haven't. Being silly. So just a, a layer of olive oil. Some nice big plump chicken thighs, bone in, skin on, and you obviously put them in the oil, skin the side down first. Actually, I've got a lovely drink going with this. That's what the pomegranates are for. I got a bit excited there. Not that pomegranates wouldn't go well in the chicken dish itself anyway, so. So just four will be enough, because I'm doing enough for two here. If they're small ones, you know, you can do an extra few, but as I said, Pretty decent sized, I'm only doing enough for two. So let's have a, just a, a bit of a look at the things I've got here, that, which I'll do in a second. Because what I've got here is I have some yellow caps, some red caps again, with some sliced garlic and some shallots, which I've cut into wedges, and that wonderful chorizo. While that's happening, let's start thinking about this wonderful drink. And it's actually from Movida, which and now Movida is, is about Australia's best Spanish style restaurant. It is absolutely bloody wonderful. Take my word for it. And this is a white sangria. Now, I'm not a great fan of sangria. You know, even in Spain, I, I must admit, I always found the red wine in it a bit harsh. Maybe it's just me, but I didn't like it that much. But this is a white wine sangria, as I said, from Movida. Frank Camora is the chef there, and he's a he's a genius. So 310 mils of dry white wine, 125 mils of white rum. I don't think they'd use Bacardi, but that's all I've got at home. So, so we're using Bacardi. So 125 mils of that, and some Cointreau, 60 mils Cointreau. Actually, when I had sangria, I did have one sangria in Spain, which I, I thought was all right. And I'll tell you why it was all right, because I think they'd put about three bloody tons of, of white rum in it. So that made it a reasonable thing to... I had a um, thing, they said, look, you must have our, our famous cocktail, a Cuba Libra. I'm digressing here, aren't I? But anyway, I had a Cuba Libra. And I swear to you, I reckon they put two thirds no, I'm exaggerating. Half a bottle of, of really good Havana Club rum in it. This is for one person. And then they just put a splash of Coke and said, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Well, you know, I suppose if I was going to drink straight, absolutely straight, <laughs> straight rum, I would have enjoyed it. But, you know, it was pretty strong. Anyway, they were, they were a bit the same with the sangria. See, I'm digressing. There was so much booze in it. Now to that I then add the seeds of one pomegranate. Now I know pomegranates are trendy at the moment. And actually I was, I was watching Jamie Oliver, if I remember rightly. And I was watching him mucking around with this pomegranate. And he says, oh, there's this perfect way to prepare them. Now I want some color on this, and which is exactly what's happening. But I think I can turn that down a bit now. So he grabbed the pomegranate. And he got a big kitchen spoon, he turned it up and he went bang, 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 and the seeds all came out. Right, well I've tried to do that a hundred bloody times, and I have to tell you, Jamie, it doesn't work. Well, maybe it does for you. <laughs> maybe you're cleverer than me, but it, I, it didn't seem to work for me. So we've got our lemon, four wedges of lemon, we've got our pomegranates, we've got our Cointreau, we've got our white wine, and we also have rum. So we've got that, we cover it with cling wrap, and we put that in the fridge overnight. It has to be overnight, and I've got another one lurking around somewhere, and then we will come back to it 
and do something with it. Let's get this chicken out because that cooked enough. I'm only starting the cooking process. And as I said, I want some real color on it. And to that we then add our bits and pieces, which I have over here. And I'll put my chorizo in and I'll put my veggies in. You could just use a red onion if you don't happen to have any shallots lurking around. Now just saute these reasonably briefly just to get the cooking process started. You don't have to cook it completely. You, you know, you still can keep it firm, but the cooking process, if you start it now, it means it'll be tender in the dish. Now, if you just throw it in raw, it always tastes a bit raw even at the end. So we'll just cook that briefly and we'll see how we go. All right, this is looking good. Now let's just throw in a little bit of flour, just to thicken it a bit, not too much, because you've already got flour in the chicken which will help thicken it. But I do like to add it at this moment because there's nothing worse than adding your thickening agent at the end because it always adds raw, it always tastes raw. You know, whether it be flour or corn flour or arrowroot or anything. It's my theory and I'm sticking to it. But you do need to cook this a little at this stage. And then some chicken stock, just pack it's fine. I reckon about half a cup to start. You can always add some more and about half a can of diced tomatoes. Yeah, perfectly measured. <laughs> oh, I'm a worry. And some smoked paprika. Now you can add the smoked paprika earlier if you like, you know, with the veggies to just toast it. I don't mind it going in here, but that's me. We'll also add some salt. We won't worry about pepper at this stage because we've got the smoked paprika. And we will just bring that to the boil and then we will return that chicken and we'll cook it gently oh 12 minutes 15 minutes something like that turn it over once or twice and just look after it you know, don't boil the heck out of the sauce so you want it to simmer but if you need to add some more stock if you think it's getting too thick add some more stock i don't know whether you will but you know i'm leaving it up to you guys i need a little bit of sugar now i'm just using raw sugar here about half a tablespoon I always find that when you're using tomatoey sauces, you often need a bit of sugar because they're a bit too tart and they need a little bit of sweetness. And we're now going to return the chicken. And I'd say just off the top of my head, just looking at this, I reckon it's gonna need some more stock. And we're gonna simmer that, as I said, for 12 or 15 minutes. And then we'll come back, finish off the sangria, which I'm looking forward to. Can I tell you something very genuine? I've had it at Movida and I loved it. I've never made it myself. So we just <laughs> give it fingers crossed. Just hope he's given me the right recipe. You know how chefs in the old days used to ask for a recipe, they always left something out, you know, because they never wanted you to repeat it or, or recreate their, their stroke of genius. I hope he's given me the right recipe, but we will find out, won't we? Anyway, it is television, so I'll just say, oh, that is wonderful. No, I won't, I promise you. If it's not right, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. All right, 12, 15 minutes, we'll come back, finish off the sangria, add those lovely dried fruits. What I've got here, just out of interest, I've got some dried figs, I've got some dried apricots and some dried prunes, and I've just chopped them up. So we'll take, put those in, oh, the last couple of minutes. You don't want, you don't want those in too early because they'll then collapse. And, and they actually make the sauce look very unpleasant, so we don't want that. Thank you, though. We'll be back. All right, we're looking good. I've added a little bit more stock, not a huge amount, but a little bit more. And I'm now going to put my dried wonders in. Just mix those in, some chopped parsley. Let's just have a taste of the sauce. I always reckon it needs a little bit of lightness at the end. And I'll show you something that's a bit of a secret with sauces. Oh, that's nice. What I'm gonna do is add a little bit of sherry vinegar just gives it a bit of a bite not too much right that's looking good back to our drink 500 mils of very cold soda water now i put this in the freezer so it's it really is very cold you can use lemonade if you like you're supposed to have one of those lovely you know sort of brass what do you call it cocktail mixers aren't you me typical cook wooden spoon now, so we've got that mix. All we now need is some of these ice cubes to go in our glasses. 
quite a bit of ice because this is a drink that you want really cold. A lime wedge to each glass, a nice big plump lime wedge, just like that. Sprig or two of mint, leave the lemon behind, we've got the lime, we don't need a lemon in this. So we'll see how I've gone, see if I've measured up to Mr. Kimura's very high standards. He does this beautiful anchovy in a tomato sorbet, oh! Stunning! Anyway, I do go on a bit, don't I? Doesn't taste anything like his. <laughs> yes, it does. Very nice. Very nice. Now, chicken. Let's start thinking about getting our chicken out. Two pieces, and let's just get plenty of this lovely sauce. And just some toasted pine nuts over the top. It doesn't look bad, does it? A sweet and savoury Spanish chicken. You look, it's simple stuff. It really is. Yet it's got some lovely flavours. And if you served it with some greens or something on the side, you could get away with just the one chicken thigh. But why would you? It's so beautiful, I want to. And the white sangria from Movida. Cheers. Guys, to show your support for my channel and to keep in the loop, subscribe. It's easy to do and don't forget, it's free. Okay, cheers.